should the Patriots be criticized for taking on Josh Gordon? And for me, it's simple. It's a simple no. I'm all I'm for second, third, and fifteenth chances. Uh, if Josh Gordon gets another chance from another NFL team, I won't have a problem with it. Uh, you know, I, I'm in, and I know the Patriots have a little bit of a, a sordid history going all the way to Aaron Hernandez or whatever. Hmm. But I just believe in second, third, fourth, tenth chances. Um, Look, there's a difference between standards and ethics. Like, look, my ethics agree with you. Like, fifth, sixth, seventh chances, if you continue to earn those opportunities. Uh, but by the standard of the media and criticism and how our game is played, yeah, they need to be criticized. Uh, they need to be criticized the same way if uh, Mike Tomlin, Marvin Lewis, Jay Gruden had picked up a Josh Gordon and this didn't work out. We all know that this lands differently if the Washington Redskins had picked up Josh Gordon and this would have occurred. Uh, we just see how they're being criticized time and time again uh, for the players they have on their roster currently. That said, look at that list, Whitlock. Look at the list. It's, 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 it's not... Hold for a second, though, okay. Marcellus. I want to I want to potentially give you a chance to clarify because I don't want people at home to go, hold on, the Redskins, they got domestic violence issues. Yeah. Substance abuse issues are viewed differently in oh, this yeah. country. I'm not... Yeah, glad for the clarity. Um, it's not in particular. It's in general. I'm not talking about every player on their roster. I'm not talking about individual cases on the roster. I'm saying how these rosters sometimes become punching bags and then the New England Patriots become Teflon, despite having what they've had on their roster as well, which have included murderers. Uh, uh, if you look at the list of players, it goes on and on, not just Aaron Hernandez. Uh, Albert Hainsworth, you could go to lighter cases. You could go anywhere in the middle. Chad Ochocinco, like things that just didn't work out. But they continue to be allowed to have the opportunity in the past by the media to continue to pick up these players. So for that conversation alone, should they be criticized? Absolutely, yes. No, I don't think so. They, To me, <clears throat> they gambled, and it, it looked like it was going to pay off, and they crapped out. It, ju- it just didn't work. For It's sad, number one, that he keeps having these problems. But to criticize them, why? They took a chance. That's just like drafting a kid that can't play. You don't get criticized for that. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if, you if, do. What you drafted, Matt? Yeah, where, yeah. Right. It, <laughs> it, it's one of those <laughs> things where it just didn't work out for him. For whatever reason, Josh Gordon has to get himself together. It didn't work. Criticize him. Why? They gave him an opportunity. And again, early in the season, it looked like, man, this is going to pay dividends for the Patriots. And then you started to see lately they, they weren't using him as much. Like this last game, he played – 57 to 62 snaps. And on the last play of the game, he wasn't even in the game. Yeah. So when you win, that's why you don't get criticized because you've had success. You've had this player, that player, and whatever. But when you have success and you win, the criticism isn't there as much as other teams that don't have that type of success. So when you say they act like they Teflon, they've earned that. The Patriots have earned that title and that type of respect that they can take on guys and if it doesn't work, they don't get criticized because they win. Well, you know, the Patriots are like any other team. They, they're not taking him on because they want to be good guys. <laughs> like, we are good guys over here. They're taking on because he's talented. He could possibly help our football team. I'm with you with, like, I mean, I like giving guys other uh, second, third, fourth, fifth chances in certain cases. When I first came to the league, and even after I retired, I was always in the mindset, if a guy does drugs, you get rid of him right away. I mean, that was always my motto. But see, I didn't know that drug addiction is a real, truly a sickness because my cousin, Dexter Manley, he, he broke it down to me. He told me. I said, I said, man, why come you can't stop this, Eric? He said, think of something that you love. You just, you just, you just love it. You just love that. I said, sweets. He said, okay. Now imagine you can't have sweets ever again. And I'm trying to imagine ne- nothing sweet ever. I'm like, I don't know if I could do that. He said, that's what it's like. He said, also, drugs talk to you. And I thought that was funny. I, I said, come on. He said, no, Eric, they talk to you like a person. And then I talked to someone else that said the same thing. They talk to you. And I can't relate to that. So for him, I, I, I feel bad for him. But this was something that the Patriots took on because he was talented. And no, I, I felt like he did need another chance. Maybe he'll get one more chance. Who knows? But I think it comes to... Josh Gordon want, wanting to, like, you know what? I've got to clean up my act first before I go even consider playing football again. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I feel sorry for the person, but I don't feel sorry for the player because, look, being in the NFL, it, it's a privilege. Um, if you're a part of that fraternity, you have to earn it and you have to live by a, a certain standard 
or you will lose that privilege. So all this, like, sympathy that comes for the player, I don't have any of that. I'm more heartless than that because you got to qualify to be in the NFL. Everybody walking around doesn't deserve the opportunity. You have to earn that. He continuously puts himself in position not to earn that. Personally, I root for everything for this guy. Get your life in order before we get your career in order. And it seems like because people are enabling him, the person, because they want to see the player, we continue to find ourselves in this situation. It may sound heartless, but it might be the best thing for him. Listen, he has made comments himself about feeling enabled because of his talents. He's done an interview, I think a year ago, about his issues and how he coaches and everybody throughout his football career enabled him. But let's don't sit here and act like he hasn't paid a huge price for his failures. Again, Josh Gordon is going to leave football probably having earned eight, nine million dollars. Mm. With his talent, mm. he probably could have earned 60, 70 million. So he, he trust me, he has not acquired. Generation. I don't even think he's going to make that much. I don't no. think he's I made th- that much. Yeah, he he may have only made five or six million. Who? Kn- so he has paid a huge price for his weakness. Drug addiction is a illness and a sickness, and I think based on the way that he was raised up, he's been self-medicating yeah. his entire life, and he can't seem to fix it. Uh, but let's move on to the field. Uh, since joining the Patriots in week four, Gordon has actually been one of their most productive receivers with the most yards and second most targets, catches, touchdowns, and first downs. Part of me thinks the Patriots are not going to suffer any consequences from Josh Gordon being away, even despite those numbers. He has been a big part of their offense, uh, but I'm, I, I think Tom Brady, Gronkowski, Edelman, uh, Chris Hogan, Bill Bell, they're going to figure out a way to get it done without Josh Gordon. I don't see this as a huge, devastating blow for the Patriots on the field. Yeah, I don't either. It's weird because they may look at this like addition by subtraction. We back to our old formula. We know what this is. Uh, And Gronkowski's in tow this time, uh, despite not looking like Rob Gronkowski. But they know how to work these variables to championship success. And they may be forced back into that position because when you lose a weapon like him, sometimes your imagination takes you too far distant from the reality. The reality is maybe Tom Brady is comfortable in this situation and they were extending themselves to try and bring Josh Gordon into the fold. And he was making tremendous strides. It looked like almost the Randy Moss 2.0 version coming to the Patriots offense, but Now they have to return to a lesser talented core. But guess what? That may be exactly what they need to go out there and rely a little more on Edelman. Get Gronkowski back to his standard, back to his form, and go out there and uh, be the Patriots of old. Maybe that's the formula. Yeah, they'll go back to playing how they played the last couple years. Gronkowski, he he looks like Mm. he's not even the same player. Yeah. The only thing that will change is – Defensive coordinators, how they used to prepare now for the Patriots. Like Josh Gordon, you can't – you have to game plan for him. You have to be aware of where he's at. You have to be aware of certain formations and things they like to do depending on where he lines up. That's not going to be the case anymore. So now you play the Patriots, let's stop Gronkowski down the seam, and let's stop their short um, passing game, short to intermediate passing game. That's what they are. Having Josh Gordon out there will affect how teams prepare for him. It won't affect how the Patriots play because – this is what they do. This yeah. is how they play. But it will affect the coordinators and how they prepare because they don't have anybody that can get down the field. Now, if Corderell Patterson, mm-hmm. he's super talented. For whatever reason, he just hasn't been able to put it together as a receiver in the NFL. But if they could find a way to have him get into that Josh Gordon row, I don't know if he's capable of doing it. The Patriots are like uh, – I think they look at this like a, like a project. If it worked, it was working okay, but we're not sold on it. I don't think they were ever just 100% sold on it. So for them – they just go back to being the Patriots. I mean, they've won with less, and they've won with more. So I don't really, you know, I, I, I feel bad for him more than anything. And, and Marcellus, I know you say, you know, you're the hard line. I Me, mean, I'm hard line too, but, you know, I, I feel like this, is that we all make mistakes. Yes. All of us make. No, and it could happen to anybody. Not this, but something can happen to anybody. And all of a sudden, you know, like, it was just a mistake. And it is what it is a mistake. But the Patriots, the Patriots would be fine. I mean, they've got Tom Brady still, even at 41 years old. They're still the New England Patriots. 